What up YouTube? Here we got a mid bald fade. Let's do this cut together. Welcome back to another true tutorial. This is how my client walked in. We're about to change his life. If you see my other videos, first things first, I always comb out my client's hair, make sure nothing is tangled up. I'm gonna start off this blend by putting in my bald line with my trimmers. We will not be keeping the C cup arch for this cut. So I initiated the ball line right where the C cup starts. And we're just going to debulk all this right under that area. I'm trying to make this line as neat and as consistent as possible. We will be basing all of our guidelines from this single line. So I highly recommend to take your time with it and make sure it's even all the way around. Right away, I'm gonna ball this out with my foil shavers. You don't wanna ball it out too high up. I apply the most pressure at the very bottom. That way, when it comes time to blend out the bottom bald line, we won't struggle so much. The first guard I'll be using is the one and a half guard, and I'm gonna do this with the lever all the way closed. I am going up about two fingers high, and I'm just following that same bald line consistently through. Just make sure this guideline is the same height all the way around. We will be using a three-step lever pattern. Try to memorize this pattern because it's the same technique we'll use throughout the entire haircut. And if you can't keep track of my lever position, just look at the top right corner. Once that's cut, I'm gonna open the lever halfway and just go up a quarter inch right above that area. As I'm doing this, I'm flicking out towards me. You don't wanna create a harsh line the higher we're going. Lastly, I'll completely open the lever and just flick out another quarter inch. And as we can see, this already pretty much blended to the top length. This is the only guard we have used so far. So for this technique, it's very important to flick out. I'm really just scooping out more and more the higher we're going. Once I complete all three lever positions, I do play with the lever a little bit just to touch up the darker areas that we missed below that. And I'm going to repeat those same steps all the way through around his head. Since we already have this guard on, there's no need to drop it and pick it up later on. Just get it over with and go all the way through. Same thing goes for all the other steps I'm showing. To get rid of any extra bulk at the top, I'm just using clipper over comb and I'm doing this with the lever all the way closed using no guards. And I'm just doing this little by little as needed. I highly recommend practicing this technique. It's going to help you cut down a lot of time and you don't have to switch in between guards. This is a time saver right here. And right away with the lever all the way open, I'm going to go up about a finger's width right above that bald line. If you do notice, I do cut repeatedly over the same area. I just want everything to be cut consistently. This will help us blend out the bottom line even easier and minimize detailing. The last guard we'll be using is the 0.5 guard. I'm going to repeat that same pattern starting off with the lever all the way closed. I'm going to flick out a quarter inch right above the line we just created. Then I'll open that lever halfway and flick out another quarter inch. Try to visualize where it is that you cut with the one and a half card and avoid going up above that. Otherwise, this blend won't connect when you get to the lever all the way open. And don't forget to really flick out, guys. It's crucial using this technique. What we're doing here is not creating another guideline. We're just erasing the one that we created already. As we're going higher, I'm using less of my blade. As you can see, I'm just using the corners. This way we can target the area a little more accurately and not accidentally cut an area that we're not focusing on. And remember, you can always go back and redo the steps to make sure your blend is flowing consistently. Once I'm done with the left side, I move over to the back and I finish the back and then I move over to the right. So I'm not wasting time guys by picking up the guards and switching them. Since I'm on this step, I'm gonna finish all the way through. If we count all the times that we go back and forth our station switching guards, and if we can minimize that, we can for sure take off five or 10 minutes off the complete service. And the last step to blend out that bottom ball line, I'm gonna repeat that same pattern. And I'm gonna use a clipper that has a fade blade. This way it gets closer to the skin. And this is a step that you need to be most careful with. So be sure to take your time flick out appropriately you don't want to bring up the fade any higher just focus on taking that line out so a quick reminder starting off with the lever closed opening halfway and finally flick out with the lever all the way open the higher i'm going 
less blade I'm using. I'm just using my corners once I get to the lever all the way open. Don't worry about the dark spots too much as long as you don't see a line. We can go back in detail after. So I'm just going to go all the way through around his head now and remove that bottom bald line. And this blend is already coming together guys. Just a little bit of detailing to make the blend pop even more and make it look a little bit more perfect. And if you need to put the guards back on, that's okay. Also really quick, if you guys need any Gamma or Stylecraft tools, be sure to use my discount code CHOOCH and you can save some nice money with that. We're going to move over to his hairline and it is pretty thin. So I'm just going to use the one and a half card with the lever all the way open just to cut down the hairs that are sticking up. But I'm just doing this at the very tips. I'm not going too deep with it to try to keep that weight in there. And I'm going to set the line in where his hair is the thickest. By putting in this sharp line, it's going to make the appearance of his hair a lot more thicker. Just keep in mind, we're doing a straight line on a round canvas. So you do have to follow the shape of his forehead. So I kind of curve it a little bit up when I get to the corners. That way it can give the illusion of a straight line. Be sure to use the mirror behind you. It adds distance. It's like when you're trying to hang up a picture frame on the wall, you take a step back to see if it's straight. That's what a mirror does. It adds distance so you don't got to step away. This is a very important tool that you need to use with all your haircuts. Since his hair is a little fluffy, I am going to lay this down using some chooch clay. You guys can find this directly on my website at chuchcuts.com. You don't need to use a lot. And I'm just going to spread this around his hair and brush it in with a medium bristle brush. This way the top of his hair would just have a cleaner appearance. And I'm being sure to follow his natural hair growth pattern, especially at the cowlick on his crown. As I was doing this, I did notice there was a lot of weight on his parietal ridge. So I'm going to knock some of this weight out using shear over comb. You could also just use a one and a half guard if this was the case, but I just wanted to be more careful since his hair is thin, but either method would work. I'm just going to touch up his line up one more time since the hairs were laid down. It never hurts to double check your work. My client did request for some enhancements to fill in those lighter areas. This is also going to make that blend pop even more. Check out the final look. But real quick, right before we get to this, a quick word from my client, Tim. Anybody who needs a credit repair, follow me on Instagram, Timothy Williams Jr. Zero. He does the cuts, I do the credit. You heard the man. If you need any credit repair services, be sure to check him out. And getting back to the cut, look at that clean blend. You can't even tell the top was thin. I really hope you were able to learn something from this video. And if you did, please leave it a like. If this was your first time watching one of my videos, be sure to subscribe. There's going to be a lot more future content coming up for you guys. If you end up trying this technique, let me know how it went for you in the comments below. Also, if you have any suggestions of what you want to watch or you got questions, let me know and I'll try to answer as many as I can. Be sure to check out all my other social media accounts. I'm pretty active on those. And check out my other tutorials here on YouTube. Anyways, that's enough from me. Stay blessed and keep grinding and peace out.